What's up guys, Falcon here again. Here I have this engine off of a 2008 Ford F-150, the three valve, 5.4 liter engine. I'm rebuilding the engine, so I want to make a video about basically just the head job and the timing chains. That way you guys are kind of have an idea what goes on here if you guys ever need to try this by yourselves. So here we have a short block brand new basically what we need to do here is just make sure that the surface is completely clean make sure there's nothing in here clean it all off make sure it's ready to go we're gonna grab the gasket headset gasket um, it says right here left hand so yeah here on the head gasket it says left hand a lot of times people get confused when you know go to the art to the auto parts place and they ask you is that on the left side or the right side of the engine the way you want to look at it is if you're driving the car sit on your left hand side or your right hand side a lot of people want to look at it as if they were in front of the engine right hand side left hand side and it's actually the other way around so here we are you know head gasket goes here it has guides here to make sure that the head gasket is not out of place i'm going to put the head on top then I'm going to put the headset bolts, of course. Got to make sure that you get new headset bolts every single time. And then I'll go over the torque sequence. All right, so here you have it. Install the head. Hand tighten the bolts just enough to get them there. I haven't torqued them down yet. As far as the torque sequence, here it is. At the front of the engine, you have 10 bolts total. There's the right hand cylinder head, the left hand cylinder head. And we're gonna torque them in that order right there. I believe first step is gonna be like 30 foot pounds. And then you have two 90 degrees turns. Same thing, always following that same pattern. Um, this is a paper that comes with the head bolts. Kinda gives you same thing, torque sequence and the pattern. But I'm gonna show you the, the all data. That way you guys have a second reference. Alright, here we have the on-demand 2008 F-150 revalve. There you go. First stage, 30 foot-pounds. Second stage, 90 degrees. Third stage, 90 degrees again. And always following that same bolt pattern. Same bolt pattern that I showed you in the other picture. Same thing. Might be able to send you guys these diagrams or anything like that. If you guys need help, just ask. Hopefully I can get to you guys' comments and send it out to you. All right, so here we have it. 5.4 three valve engine. Basically a head job done. Of course, outside the truck, but nonetheless, it's basically a head job. There you go, everything torqued in. Next thing to do is going to be timing chains and I'll show you guys the timing marks and everything that's required with that. I'll probably make a, another video, attach this one and make a timing chain video. But there you have it. Alright, so here we have it. 5.4 three valve engine. Basically a head job done. Of course outside the truck. but. Nonetheless, it's basically a head job. There you go. Everything torqued in. Next thing to do is going to be timing chains. And I'll show you guys the timing marks and everything that's required with that. I'll probably make a, another video, attach this one and make a timing chain video. But, there you have it. Alright, so here we have a timing chain for a 5.4 three valve Ford engine. So, here are the timing marks. This is the left head. So, we have the two marks here. And then on the sprocket, this mark right here is gonna be for both timing chains the front one and the back one. So you would do the back one first, 
you can see it there the mark the other darker one so that this back one is aligned and in time so then the right side sprocket here it is the right right there on the mark and there it goes so then all I got left to do is put on my my guides my tensioners and then front cover that's all it is right there but that's pretty much the timing on a three valve 5.4 Ford engine one more time here we go it says L for left and the mark on the bottom for both of them and on the right it says R right there there you go thanks guys